walked into Edith Falls on site number 30 and we're hoping that if someone has been on the site that they've checked out already, it's about 10 o'clock. It's looking pretty empty, so fingers crossed, we can just roll straight in. Pretty small campsite, but we'll make it work. And then we've got our friends TCC coming and staying on site 29, so it should be a good stay. Pretty excited for this one. All right, so we've just um, parked up at uh, Edith Falls. It's a massive um, camp area. Some of the, type, the sites are pretty, pretty tight, but we got our van in sort of not too bad. So um, yeah, if we can get in, anyone can get in, I think. Just come down to check out the swimming hole and see what it's all about. And, uh, anyway, let's go check it out, Adeline. What do you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> So the Leyland lookout was about 1k walk from the start. Pretty easy walk, couple of steps, not too bad. Was it out of line? Not that bad. Not that bad. Now we're going, um, we're just a lookout now. We're gonna go another uh, couple of hundred meters up to the upper pool. Um, didn't take us long, kids did it pretty easy. Bring some water with you. We thought we'd come down early in the morning, which is it's really nice and cool at the moment. So, but when we get to the, when we get to the upper pool, we're going for a swim, aren't we, Dale? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. But we didn't bring Let's go for a little trek. Actually, hang on, here's the sign here. I'll see, I'll tell you exactly how far it is. And we didn't. There you go. So, and another 220 meters. the trek to the upper pool at Edith Falls and it was definitely worth the effort. 100% take the time to do the 2k round trip. It's a bit rocky, bit of climbing to do but absolutely achievable with kids as well and definitely worth it for the view. a little climb across to a super cute cave. Look at this thing. All right, we're going to get closer to the waterfall. So it's our last day um, here at Edith Falls. We're heading off today. Would have been good to stay a few extra days just to do a couple of the big treks around Edith Falls. Um, we did most of them, but the big ones the kids couldn't do. So it would have been nice to be able to just get up in the morning and go for an early walk while the kids are in bed. The upper pools are pretty achievable though with the kids and that was amazing. You've got to take that bit of extra effort. It probably took us like 20 or 25 minutes to do the walk. There's lots of steps and whatever, but you can spend the whole day there if you want to. Pack a lunch bring your hats and just enjoy it because it's really worth it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, the upper pool's easy, an easy 1.6k walk. 
our kids did it, no worries at all. Mm. And now we are heading north again. We're doing, where are we going again? I can't remember. Uh, we're just going to do a couple of days in Adelaide River. Oh, yeah. Um, just before um, we get to Bees Creek in Darwin, Darwin, which we're going to be there for a week. Check out Darwin, got a few things to do on the van, a few upgrades be um, before we get to WA. Hmm. So, all right, see you at the next one.